2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Legends Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Rich Beams, my sparring partner in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey. Hope you're enjoying all the action. I know this player certainly has been rich because they've built this wonderful lead. Are you expecting them just to take the bit between the teeth and keep running with it? Well, that's what you expect them to do. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50-50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think about what they've accomplished, it's all over. Certainly excited to see how today plays out, Rich. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Going with the eight iron here. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. This player needs a little help from Bob Ross on this shot. No draw whatsoever. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to face a par four now. Wow, that was just striped. Here's Ricky Fowler from earlier. An absolute beauty here. Unbelievable shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Probably taking one less club here with the green sitting well below him. Going with the nine iron, I think. Outstanding approach shot. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Seven feet to the cup. Nice line. Oh, what a start. This is impressive. Trying to make a statement early and often. He sits in first position.
Here we are at the third. This one looks like it's going right. That's not the outcome they were after. There's been some great play all over this course. How about this shot at the 12th? Let's recap this long range effort. Wonderful effort. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Beauty of a chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And now that finds him in first place. Here we are at the fourth hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Nicely done. Time for the second shot here at the four. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. Oh, so close. Well, that was a phenomenal play. Almost an eagle. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And after a bird at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the fifth. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hull a long one. Still counts. Already had a few birdies today. This for another... This one has eyes for the hole. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Time to tee off at the sixth. No bunkers on this tee shot. Plenty of room to hit it both right and left. But if you miss it wide one direction or another, you're going to find all kinds of troubles with those tall trees. Just that one bunker that fronts the left-hand side of the green here. Again, though, a lot of runoff areas around this green makes that second shot so much more difficult to get it close. Playing from around 160 yards.
choosing the nine iron here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for birdie here at the sixth. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. What an amazing shot. Those always come in handy. Completely unexpected, but welcome nonetheless. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Go on, get in the hole. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Still in the lead now after that hole. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Opting for the five wood. That's not the shot they're after. And coming up well short. Twelve feet to the cup coming up. This putt to try and save their par. on a great line oh that's pure heart great fight to make that putt and that is a nice up and down out of the greenside bunker for the par fantastic touch on this one oh that's the shot go ahead and make one don't worry about getting it up and down and after that effort this is how the leaderboard looks right now And now we find ourselves with a par four here. <laughs> Tee shot is looking good here. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. a boy good shot always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie it's got a chance and that will drop in for birdie. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Handy effort, that one. Playing up to an elevated green here. <laughs> Going with a three wood here.
Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll reward it for that play. Get excited. This could go in. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 12th. Playing their fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Needed it. Needed that in a big way, chipping in for the par. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Was wonderfully done from around 140 yards here. Feeling strong, going for less club. And he's hit that inside the range. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. It's time for a one-shotter. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And let's take a look at this shot from a moment ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Yes! OK, let's get back to it, shall we? This putt just five feet away from the hole. That will drop, and it will extend the lead. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Again, no bunkers off the tee shot here, Luke, though, but anything missing out to the right or even far left, you're just going to have all kinds of problems. Second shot down the hill to a green that's surrounded by water in the front, bunkers both left and right. I love this golf course. I love the beauty of it, but I got to say, it is a really difficult course. Don't overclub when playing to a green well below your feet. It's always a smart play to club down a bit. to be going with the five iron. <laughs> Nicely done. What's in front of them, Henny? 
careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill, and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Looking really good. Yeah, that's well judged. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up this shot from about 120. Should find the green here. Just putting on a ball striking clinic, it seems today, Rich. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This is his third. Nicely hold. And back to the course with the live action. A birdie putter waits. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Oh, how about that one? Currently in first position. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Second shot here on the 14th hole. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. That's a high quality recovery shot. Such soft hands. And down it goes. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. This hole is a par four. Absolutely tattooed that one. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. One less club required for this shot as the green sits well below him.
Uh, it might be one club too many. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Just a short putt remaining here. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Going with the pitching wedge here. They're well played. Setting up here with a very long putt. Is that a rush of blood? This putt is of nine feet. A good stroke. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Good look here for a second shot. We're witnessing a clinic there by Shoffley. He's leaving nothing to chance. Well, here we find ourselves on a short par four. What's your mentality? This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Good shot there, Beamer. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Very crafty, that shot. Judging it beautifully. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Starts off on a good line. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Still in the lead now after that hole. All right. One more hole to go. The 18. I love this hole because if you're leading and have a chance to win, this is the tee shot you want. There's all kinds of room out there to the right-hand side. Tee it high and let it fly. Give yourself the best opportunity to go into this elevated green with a short iron to make it as easy as possible on you. And it's much easier said than done, Luke, as you and I both well know. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? 
They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. That's nicely done. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This one's 13 feet from the cup. What a putt. Started this perfectly. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.